Hi guys, it's Tracy here from Cheeky Journals. Welcome to my channel and another junk journal with me. Today my journal entry is all about spending a day in nature. You can't see this, but right next to me I have a small pile of papers and ephemera that I picked out beforehand. I find that if you're not sure where to start or you might feel overwhelmed by all the choices, it really helps to pick out some ephemera before starting. Of course, I don't limit myself only to this pile. If I feel later on that I need music paper and it's not something that I picked, then I just go and fetch some. The ephemera pile is just there as a starting off point or to get the ball rolling as some people would say. So I have picked out ephemera that suits the theme, complement each other or that fits the aesthetic that I'm going for. I started off with sticking down some plain grid paper and I like the contrast that it creates between the white and tea stained paper. This will be a perfect spot for journaling. The frame around the photo is from a Tim Holtz ephemera pack. It had some French writing in the middle of it. I just pulled this out and I might use it on another day. The text and matchbox butterfly image is from my collection of magazine clippings. The tuck spot in the left corner was done when I made this journal. It's just a piece of scrapbook paper that was cut into a rectangle. I have also sewn it in but you can glue it. I have gone ahead and decorated it with a combination of textiles, a button and a postage stamp. I love the script stamp, it's my favourite way of adding something extra to the page. I have a lot of photos that I want to add and this is a potential spot for them but I first want to add more to the background. So I'm sticking down a piece of vintage text and I'm also going to add music paper. Two classic papers that you can't go wrong with in my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below what's your staple pieces that you keep returning to. Now it's time to work on the layout and see where I want to place all the pictures. I am also bringing closer a pile of ephemera to start the auditioning process. I'm going back and forth and when I find something that I like, I commit to it by sticking it down. If I don't do this, then I can sit there for ages trying out different options. On this page I end up only sticking down two photos and I will find a spot for the other two somewhere else. My thinking is that I can use the left side for extra writing space since I'm going to cover up most of the opposite page. I have a leftover strip of music paper that's been floating around and now's a good time to use it. I don't want any tiny pieces of paper going back into my stash so I'm also sticking down the piece that I have trimmed off. I am a big fan of anything floral, so when I went through my ephemera, this rose postcard was a no-brainer and I knew immediately that I wanted to add it. I'm also going to keep the pink fabric in the corner. I have bought two new watercolours, quinacridone purple and a bright pink that's called Brilliant Opera Rose. 
I absolutely love adding packaging like this to my journal. I'm also going to do a swatch next to each color. I want to add some washi to the postcard. I'm trying to see where I prefer it, at the top, bottom or side. I have so many options. Luckily, most washi isn't that sticky, so I have the luxury of moving it around. I eventually settle on a spot at the bottom. I also have this 40 cents ephemera piece that fits so well on the page. All it need is some twine through the top. I genuinely thought that it already had a hole through it, but I soon realized this is not the case. So I'm using a small punch on my crocodile to create one. I want to add a very faint pattern and stencils are a great way of achieving this. So I'm using a Tim Holtz diamond stencil and some brown distress ink in Vintage Photo. It's now just a matter of filling up some spots and leaving some writing space. I'm going to stick my photo here and I really want to work the flashcard in. I like how it has a slight overhang to the page but I still think it needs something more. And as I said before, when in doubt, grab book or music pages. It works well for layering. So that's what I'm going to settle for. I like using a stapler in my journals. It's not just functional, but also decorative. So stapling the flashcard to the photo is a good option in this case. This is a Maggie Holmes sticker book that I'm going through. I'm looking for a butterfly sticker and I know she has some beautiful ones in this book. Since this whole journal entry is inspired by the beauty of nature, I thought it's very fitting to add a dried flower. I find that they brighten up a journal whether you stick them in like I'm doing now or laminating them. They are a favourite of mine and every so often I jump into the garden and get some for my flower press. It's an activity that I always look forward to and enjoy so much. Next, I'm sticking a label with some music paper in the top corner. This is a spot for my date. I went to an antique shop recently and found amazing postcards. This one dates back to 1929. It doesn't really have anything to do with nature or this day, but I want to fill my journal with lovely treasures that I discovered along the way, and there is a tuck spot for it, so why not? The index card that I'm currently working on will also be going in the tuck spot. It's one that I made earlier this year. The front was done with acrylic paint stamping, and I got the image from a magazine. To frame the card off, I sewed a border around it and at the back, I'm adding my lost photo. I also continued with that stencil pattern that I did earlier on. I have picked this green stamp to add. I think it works well with the pinks, red and other greens on the page. I am adding some stamping and a few stickers. And now I have quite a lot of journaling space to fill up. After that, I'll add the final touches and give you a closer look at how it all turned out. I will leave you now to enjoy the last few minutes of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. 
like and comment on the video i really appreciate it and i'll see you in my next one bye